picking up on where I left off last time on these seams, I looked at them again and I just wasn't satisfied. I thought there was ever so slight, you know, faint line there. So I'd seen a few videos on this Mr. Surfacer. I actually have the 500, um, and I had seen that you can kind of use this as a uh, seam filler, so to speak, because, you know, the, the lower the number, the thicker it is. Um, so I tried that on there and you know, both top and bottom, and then uh, I'll let that fully dry and then buff it out and see how it works. All right, so finished up work on those seams, and yeah, you can see um, after I sanded that and buffed that down, um, what's left in there. Um, also did some more work on this nose just to, you know, get that to come down a little bit better. Um, there was a little crease in there. I tried to get rid of that. Um, and then same thing on the bottom. Um, yeah, you can see, actually see the white line in the center there. That's that, uh, primer. There's a thing here that comes up that I completely obliterated, obviously. You can see the curve around where it's supposed to be there. Um, I went into the spares and just got this piece here. And it, actually that little connection point, I think I'm going to cut that off stick that on there it's just supposed to be silver and it's just a, a little bump that sticks up there i'm not sure if it's I, I don't think it's a light maybe it is i don't know maybe i'll text joe and ask him um but yeah i, I gotta replace that detail um and then you can see the scriber is out i you know just rescribed a little bit of detail um and added these two rectangles on the bottom there or enhanced them anyway. So while I'm waiting for things to dry and other things over there, I'm going to get started on these stands. I'm going to recreate this. This is the one from uh, the Thunder Streak from the Thunderbirds. Um, when I got to the Thunderbirds, I started using this uh, acrylic rod. Uh, and basically it's um, three triangles of uh, styrene. So I still have this. Uh, from when I made the last one of those and uh, used this as a template and just cut it out of uh, sheet styrene. Basically, that's a right angle. And so it's basically just bringing these three pieces together to form that base. Put some weights. Uh, I only have one big weight left, but um, I've been using these uh, uh, steel nuts. So anyway, um, put some weights in there just to get it a little bit of heft to hold it up. Then take it over to the... Uh, drill press and um, drill that hole through there. Uh, put this through, use the uh, super glue, and then just fill that in there. Um, and then put the same uh, super glue and let that dry. And then I think you could see on there the hash marks. Um, take it to the drill press again, and then drill that hole in there. And then cut off you know the appropriate size piece of uh, rod, put that in there, glue it all together. And then that should fit right into the bottom of the plane. I think I showed that uh, in my last video. So I just put those triangles together with uh, the super glue and the zip. Uh, just got done putting these together. Um, so you can see I kind of glued all this together. Um, just put the glue on there, hit it with the zip kick, you know, sanded everything down, then put these in there, hit it with some glue, shot it with the zip kick, and I gotta turn that fan back on. Okay, here's that stand. Um, let's try to put that on there. Nice. All right, yeah, it's got a little bit of lift to it. That's gonna work pretty good. Straight on there. All right, nice. Um, yeah, and then I <laughs> did the other one, and it's sitting up there uh, for when I do the Super Hornet. So that stand will be ready and wait. Yeah, this piece on top, I texted with Joe. He has a, a detail and scale, and I was just double checking to make sure that's like a light or something. So I put that little, uh, put that little knob on there. Um, so I think I'm ready for primer. Okay, I've primed it with the um, Mr. Surfacer 1500, and God, I love that stuff. Came back and had to address those uh, 
ordinance connection points on the bottom, get those smoother. And I had to uh, address a little bit around the nose there. I think Joe said he had to do the same thing. Um, so did that with a little bit of super glue and then those back uh, doors for the landing gear. Uh, hit those with the putty one more time. So now I'm going to hit it again. See how that comes out. All right, so I've got it over here drying. Um, and I think I have that nose the way I want it. Um, so yeah, everything's looking pretty good. Then I went back and hit that exhaust piece as well as the leading edges of the wings and intakes with the Alclad black base and uh, then I'll hit those with the Alclad. So while I was at the spray booth priming the Tiger, I switched airbrushes and hit this with the uh, Future Floor Wax at the same time. Um, I'm going to let that primer set up for 24 hours, but uh, this is it's about six hours later I'm going to Put these decals on um, while I'm waiting on that other stuff. I think these are from the Hasegawa kit, which is why, well, who knows? I don't remember, to be completely honest with you. Um, but at least I have these U.S. Navies here. I'm just going to lay them over, uh, use this as my guide, and uh, lay them over, you know, that U.S. there. Uh, I'm not going to try to get this up or anything like that. Um, this is better than nothing, I think, um, and if it, the color's a little bit off, then so be it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put these on now. Yeah, I think right there's kind of the best I'm going to do on that side. So now I'll do the same thing on this side. Yeah, if I'm right on the U, then I'm slightly off on the S. I mean, these must have been two different uh, decal manufacturers, but... It is what it is. It's better than nothing, I guess. Yeah. The U's right on, that S looks a little thick. Um, I'm trying to like, I don't know if I can split the difference here, but it's starting to stick and I think I'm just gonna leave it. All right, put the rest of those on and hit that with the Sala set and uh, let all that dry. All right, just shot uh, all the leading edges with um, the Alclad Chrome and uh, also shot that tail piece. All right, there we go. Got those on. Got the phantom back on the shelf. So tomorrow this should be dry and I will start on the next so coat. I hit that with the uh, aqua gloss clear uh, alclad lacquer. Got the shine that I wanted. So now I'll let that dry overnight and hopefully tomorrow morning I can finally start masking it. I think I have everything that needs to stay chrome masked and uh, now I'll get that blue ready. And then the last step will be masking the tips, priming those with the gray and then painting them with the yellow. I thinned it pretty well and then went back and forth over it three or four times. Um, we'll see how it does. Uh, may need a second coat but so far so good. Waiting for that to dry. So actually that'll be dry tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna end it there and then come back with one final video of uh, finishing it off and a final reveal. So until then, thanks for watching and happy modeling.